Hello, my name's Robert Dean Steele, and today I'm dealing with a nice little subject that says, remembering to forget. <laughs> I love this quote. God forgives and forgets. Wise is the man or woman who will do the same. Now listen to what it says in Hebrews 10, 17. Their sins and lawless acts I will remember no more. Every day we have an opportunity to remember. We can look back on the preceding day and think of God's faithfulness, which is tangible. The merging lines of geese, for example, honking overhead, or maybe the beautiful sunrise, or a wonderful sunset, the bountiful feast on the dinner table, and the quiet night of peaceful slumber. What we need to do is meditate on the word remember, and you'll discover it often doesn't fit with God in all ways. In the light of his mercy and grace, the word remember almost seems out of place and barren. But think about it for just a moment, and you'll be aware of the fact that the Lord doesn't remember some things. God said, I will remember their sins no more. Incredible when you think about it. No wonder the word almost seems out of place. God doesn't just forgive, he forgets. And there's even more. He wipes the slate clean. He destroys all the evidence, and he doesn't remember. And that's a personal choice. You see, from time to time, we are surrounded by people who are devastated by sin and by doubt. They can neither forgive themselves or others, nor can they forget past wrongs. That's why we are called to serve. People need to remember God's memory is short, that he's long on grace. So today, when you meet someone who's having a difficult time forgiving themselves for past failure, remind them of God's forgetful nature. And you need to remind yourself to also forget. Let's do that today. My name is Robert Dean Steele.